Hi, Trent, I'm Christopher Green. Christopher Green? With right. AMTV, Alternative Media Television. We okay. get the real truth, the real news out All to the right. American well, let's, people. Let's, let's see what happens. So tell me about Donald Trump. Is he the man for, for presidency? Do you think he can win? Uh, Donald Trump has such a distinct view of America than Hillary Clinton. He's the only choice in this campaign. You're talking to someone that was not a Trump supporter in the primary, but you're not going to ever talk to anybody that's more committed to getting him elected now, because I understand the, the very clear choice between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Donald Trump may say things in an unvarnished, unpolitically correct way, but if you look at the basics of who he is and what he stands for, uh, it is vital that we see that at, the, at the, the titular and the actual leadership of this country. If Hillary Clinton is elected, the Constitution is vapor, and I say that being the chairman of the Constitution Subcommittee in the Congress. Now, how do you think Donald Trump did during the first debate? Was he tough enough? Uh, the first half of the, of the debate, uh, he uh, absolutely excelled. He overcame her in every way. The second half of the debate was really a kind of a, I think, a, a display of a very sophisticated, long-term politician uh, giving a great, politically correct defense of the status quo and a man that was trying to get his message through in an awkward situation. So maybe, you know, I think everyone understands that he struggled a little bit during the, the second half. She's done this 15 times. That was his first debate. And if, if he's as quick a study as he seems to be in other areas, she may be in trouble in the second one. Now, what about the Clinton Foundation? Do you think he should go on the attack there? Well, the Clinton Foundation is probably the poster child for corruption in the political world. And the fact that, uh, that the media has not really told that story, just honestly and, and, and uh, e just even-handedly, they have not told that story. If they did, uh, and people really understood it, Hillary wouldn't have a chance in the world. Now, I read something on my phone about comments you made about the West Bank. Did you want, maybe it was taken out of context, West but Bank? something on my, uh, recent yeah. news uh, out of Israel press, you know, did you I, want to I, set the I records? I the Israel caucus in the Congress. I'm very pro-Israel. And it is true that I don't call uh, Samaria and Judea the West Bank because I believe that those are part of Israel. And uh, I believe that, uh, that uh, somehow people have forgotten that Israel's been there for 3,000 years and that, there, that if there's anyone that has a claim to that land, it's the people of Israel. Trent, thank you very much. I really appreciate thank it. Thank much. you, sir. God bless.